This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast of Mark and Charity Mornings, 95.5 Hits FM for this Wednesday, July 20th. Our heat warning remains in effect today. Record temperatures, not just here, but around the world. We're expecting with the Humidex for it to feel like 40 today. And that's what it was in the UK. An interesting story. You want to talk about record high temperatures. So the UK, that's what they're having right now. Never in the recorded history of weather temperatures have they ever reached 40 degrees. It has never been this hot in the UK as it has been over the last couple of days. And they just aren't prepared for it. I was listening to a story yesterday um, where they said, you know, a lot of the homes in the UK are built in fact, to retain heat. So now that they're going through this, they're not built, and not just homes, but buildings in general, they're not built with the central air and the air conditioning that we here in North America enjoy. Um, They're not conducive to really hot, hot weather. So what they've been seeing in recent days, roads have melted. Firefighters have been battling wildfires. Uh, London Heathrow Airport, they had one of their runways, two of their runways actually were closed because the runways started to crack and were affected by the heat. It, it's incredible. It's it's really something. Right now, the country is set to be hotter than Jamaica, the Maldives, Barbados today. And rail users in the UK have been warned of delays, cancellations and changes to train services because the tracks are also being affected by this heat wave. Absolutely incredible. Now we here in Canada, I would say a little more used to it because in recent years we've had these warmer temperatures, these heat waves come across. So we've kind of adapted to it. Yesterday I had plans of staying in uh, a cooler spot than I was. We do have a pool. So I expected to be swimming a little bit yesterday afternoon, which, and I eventually did, but it was an interesting day of all the days to lock my keys in my car yesterday it happened now the location um was actually if it was going to happen was pretty ideal what we did was we decided to go for a picnic because my children are home from school so i picked them up we went and grabbed some sandwiches and we were eating next to uh the trent canal runs through kelmbleford the trent severn waterway kelmbleford's built around it so we have the canal that runs through So we were actually sitting at one of the locks, watching the boats, enjoying the water in the shade. And my oldest accidentally locks the keys in the car. (laughs) Now, it wasn't completely on him because the keys were in the car. I left them in there. But then my cell phone was in the car too. So it became even more interesting. Thankfully, uh, because we were close to the locks, the lock master allowed us to use the phone. Very nice man. Entertained my kids for a while, let them watch the boats go through, explained it all while I called for assistance. And then we waited and we waited and we waited. And it was it was close to two hours before uh, our car was unlocked and we were able to continue on. But as I said, thankfully, we actually it actually turned out to be an OK afternoon. We were by the water. We were watching boats. We had a very shaded area. And a special thank you to a family. We did know them, but they had been picnicking picnicking as well around us and uh, and and heard what happened. They actually went and got us some cold water while we were waiting too. So thank you to to you, the Locke family, (laughs) funny enough, um, for helping us yesterday. So an interesting day of all the days to have it happen. It was (laughs) the hottest day we've had so so far this summer Um, and put a, a little crimp, but overall, not not too bad. It made me really a lot of lessons learned. Um, not to leave my keys in the car, not to leave my phone in the car, even if I leave it for just a few moments. Um, and to yeah, not do it on the hottest day of the summer. But it was okay. Overall it, it worked out and we moved on and we were able to get a swim in and cool off once we got home. So that was my story yesterday. It was interesting though, because I also, it made me realize or think about when was the last time I I had to use roadside assistance? It's been a long, it's been a long time. Thankfully, kind of proud of myself that way. But uh, it was interesting to go back to use. It's been a long time to be without a phone and to be stuck like that. It, It was 
made me stop and think for a moment anyway. But thankfully, one of the questions they did ask when I called them for assistance was, are you safe? And it really made me, I said, yes, of course. And thinking that what kind of question is that? But it really brought back that warning or reminder, because it wasn't that long ago, we had tragedy strike here in the Quinney area, uh, just north of the city. But the reminder of how quickly a car can warm up and if the car, if the car's locked and someone is locked in, a, a young child who can't get out, who can't maneuver the locks and get out on their own, or if a pet is is locked in the car, then yeah, it becomes an emergency. So we probably wouldn't have had to wait two hours. They would have came a little, a little quicker. Um, but there are way worse places to be stuck. And yes, it was hot, but it wasn't rainy and it wasn't cold. So in, all in all, it was okay. And today, very much the same, going to be hot and humid. So hopefully you find somewhere cool to be. Don't lock your keys in the car. All in all, it turned out okay. And thankfully, we were in a safe place. So at the end of the day, it was okay. But just one of those stories now, as I said to the kids, here's a story. Here's our adventure for the day. <laughs> But another hot one expected for today, and uh, we were talking about that this morning. Again, ways to stay cool, hydrated, of course, different drinks to drink, not just water. Of course, water's best. That's the first one to go to, but some other beverages that you can drink throughout the day to help stay hydrated, the ones to avoid, including pop and alcohol, uh, coffee, anything more than two cups, and you're gonna you're gonna find you're dehydrated, according to the experts. We talked about that. We also talked about the brain fog that sinks in with the heat. Do you find in this heat you're just not as clear headed? The focus might not be there. You're a little scattered. Well, you're you're really not. You're not alone at all. Research shows that the heat really can affect how you concentrate on things. So again, there are some tips on what you can eat. For instance, swapping out sandwiches for salads because salad contains lettuce, contains an incredible amount of water that will help you stay hydrated. If you can, even showering during your lunch hour just to to cool you off immediately. Um, Sticking to fish and unsalted nuts, energy boosters, and can help with with thinking a little more clearer. So some tips that way. Beaches in the area open today. You can cool off there. Cooling stations. Um, if you don't want to head to the beach or get wet, you can go to the Quinney Mall, the Belleville Public Library, or the Quinney Sports and Wellness Center, Duncan Memorial R- Arena in Trenton, also acting as a cooling station today as the heat continues. Now, some may really enjoy it. And if you do and you plan on, you know what, I'm just going to grab a book, maybe find some shade or head to the beach and just soak it in and enjoy. If you've been wondering what to read this summer or you're getting maybe near the end of your summer reads list, I posted one up on our Facebook today from Reader's Digest and it's a list of 30 books that should be added to your summer book list. And it covers everything from romance, thrillers, fantasy, um, true crime, fiction, everything that a bookworm, every type of bookworm could enjoy. And on there as well, one uh, book that actually is in theaters. It was made into a movie by Reese Witherspoon, Where the Crawdads Sing. That's actually at the top of Reader's Digest list on a must read list for the summer. So keep that in mind. But Viola Davis has a new book out if you like Michelle Obama's biography uh, Reader's Digest says you'll, you'll really enjoy this and of course the classics you can't go wrong with like Pride and Prejudice which is also on the list so a great uh, selection of books there if you're looking for something to read this summer and just take a break maybe from the heat Coming up tomorrow with Mark and Charity Mornings, it is a throwback Thursday. We kicked it off this morning. Speaking of getting a break from the heat, our theme this week is centered around ice, just cooling off. So over the next few hours, you can vote for Vanilla Ice's Ice Ice Baby, of course, had to use that one, or Foreigner's Cold as Ice. You vote for your favorite. We'll play the the winning song tomorrow after the 8 o'clock news, part of Mark and Charity Mornings. Throwback Thursday brought to you by Burger Revolution, where the jam rock still the burger of the month. So get in there and enjoy. Also coming up tomorrow, Galaxy of Games will play our high-low game, your chance to win a package for two to enjoy a summer day in the county, including ice cream from the old greenhouse ice cream shop in Wellington and some money to spend at Walt Sugar Shack in Constantine. That's on the way tomorrow with Mark and Charity Mornings. Enjoy your day today. Stay cool. Cool, stay hydrated. Be safe. Don't lock your keys in your car. <laughs> I don't recommend it. Lesson learned. No question. Stay cool today. Hopefully this this heat will lift over the next 24 hours and a little more, a little more reasonable, a little more comfortable. You've been listening to the Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast. Wherever you find your favorite podcast, be sure to subscribe and get it daily. Enjoy your Wednesday.